Why hello there everybody. So today I'm going to be doing a first video, a starter video, the first video, the beginning of my back to school series. So um, I'm going to start off with a college haul because I figured, you know, it's pretty appropriate. Back to school, college, haul, stuff you need for school. Um, and as many of you know, I am already in college, like I've already done a year of college, so I'm going back and I'm going to be a sophomore. But even though I'm going to be a sophomore and I've already been to college, there are still things that you need when you go back to school. So I'm going to go through and show you some stuff and uh, I'm just going to get on into it. So I guess I'm going to start with the stuff that I got at Target. Now, when I went to Target, I went with one of my... Ugh. When I went to Target, I went with one of my friends and we filmed a vlog the entire day. So the vlog will be down in the info bar if you just go to my vlog channel. So we went there and we were expecting like a whole bunch of back to school stuff and there was literally nothing. Like we were really upset when we went there because we were expecting, okay, it's mid-July, there should be some back to school stuff, especially for college kids that go back earlier, like as early as August 2nd for some people. So we were quite disappointed with the... Uh, little array of stuff that they had for us. So what I got was um, last year I didn't have a body pillow because I didn't think that I needed one and then three of my friends had one and I realized I need to get a body pillow for next year but I have one at home so I think I'm just gonna end up bringing that one and putting this cover onto it. So this is a body pillow cover and it's really soft. Um, it's one of the room essentials things from Target and you can wash it in a washing machine and it's literally like super soft and this goes along with my color theme from last year so I'm keeping the same color theme kind of you guys will learn why so this is what I got and it's super soft and it's like super comfortable especially when you spend a lot of time in your bed like I do all of my homework and I edit all of my videos and everything in bed because I don't really like sitting at desks then we got um, candles and we actually went through and we sniffed every single candle that they had there but it was only the ones that were for this collection so I think it's like the Target special collection they're all soy candles but we didn't go through like the Yankee candle aisle because that would have just been way too much and I think my nose would have exploded from all the different scents but this one is sugar blossom and I went through and we smelled all of them and told them told you guys which ones are like the best and which ones are not but I just really like this because it has a floral scent to it, but it also has a bit of like a sugary scent to it, hence the sugar blossom. But it smells really, really good. And we're not allowed to have candles, but I'm living in a suite. And so I know I'm going to be able to monitor my candle because I don't leave candles burning if I leave the room just because that's dumb. So I'm going to bring this and have my room smell nice and good because I'm living with six other girls. So... We're gonna have a lot of different scents. I don't know, my voice is like super raspy too. I feel like it's a really low and like manly voice, like raw. Um, I don't know why. I feel like it should be higher, but it's probably because it's early in the morning and I have to go to work later, so I'm not really happy. Um, now I'm going to move on to Marshalls. I got a lot of stuff at Marshalls. A lot of stuff. I'm gonna start off with clothing. So I have never really been the type of girl to want to wear crop tops just because I'm like, uh, my stomach it's like it's okay I don't know if I want to go out and just kind of broadcast it to the world but because of school I've been I go to the gym every day and so when I'm there like my body is in really really good shape which makes me happy because it's nice to be able to do all of my work get all of my like grades back and have them be good and then still be able to work out every day so that's something that I pride myself in or on and so I went to Marshall's and I got some tops for school and the first one I absolutely love this shirt and these were all on clearance too probably because it's like summer's almost over but this one was ten dollars and it's just super cute and it has like a nice pattern on it and then some tassels at the bottom so this isn't entirely a crop top because the tassels technically like cover your tummy but I just really like this look and I'd probably partner it with a jacket over it or like a little sweater or something so that is one crop top and I really really like this a lot and the tassels are really nice and the colors are really cool too. Then I got another one and this one is um, like a salmony color and I actually got this in two different colors and this one was $11. So this is the top and it has three buttons and it has kind of like a bralette built into it even though that's really not going to do anything for me. I'm probably still going to have to wear a strapless bra with it um, but 
this is a really nice top and you can wear it with high-waisted jeans too and that's going to be kind of like my look I think for the beginning months of school because our school we don't have any air conditioning in the dorm buildings so it gets pretty hot out and it's really annoying to wear multiple layers and whatnot but I think that if I do that with like a little sweater and then shorts then it's going to be like the most minimal amount of clothing that I can wear. And then this one in black, it's the same top, but I figured black is like easy and you can wear it with literally anything because black is always the easiest color to match anything to because it's, is it all color? It's not the absence of color, is it? I don't know. White and black, I always mix up the one, but this is the really cute top. I really like that a lot. A lot. Then I got a white sweater top crop thing and this is from Haute Society and oh this one was actually $17 I thought it was cheaper but if I can figure out how to do things okay this is the front of it and it has another tassel thing at the bottom so it's like out the car wash the car wash yeah yeah um so this is the top and it has a low back and the front of it is obviously a lot higher, but I just thought this was really nice and I can wear it over different colored bandeaus. So if I have like a neon pink one, I can do that or a blue or a black or white or green or any single color I can put under that because it looks really nice and you can kind of mix and match it with a whole bunch of different outfits and shorts. And then because what I wear in school when I go to bed is I wear a Victoria's Secret like pink shirt and then I wear a pair of spandex just because at home like I can walk around and I can wear like a big t-shirt and not really care. But at school, I have to care somewhat, a little bit, because if you're walking around, you don't know who's going to be in your room, when, common room, people, stuff. So I got spandex, and I just really, I love spandex because they're so comfortable. And I wear them under a lot of stuff, but they're also really nice just to wear with a top. And also, it's like the least amount of clothing that you can wear when you're sleeping, and it's so hot hot during the first two months of school. Two to three months depending on how bad the summer is. Like last summer was absolutely horrific. Awful. You went to bed sweating. You woke up sweating. You took a shower you were sweating. You got out of the shower you were sweating. It was just like constant 24-7 sweat because the summer was so brutally hot. This one has had its moments but it's not like to the extent where I'm like I just want to be in an ice bath for the rest of my life. So I got some more stuff at uh, Marshalls. I also got two pairs of shoes because I wanted to get a pair of comfortable flip-flops that are like sandals, but I didn't want them to be my reefs because reefs are extremely comfortable, but they're not exactly the most, fash most, most fashionable shoes, and I have like the old kind, so it's like the really thick strap, but I really like them because they're super comfortable and I wear them to work all the time and it's like the easiest thing. But in order to try and expand my horizons, I went out and got a new pair of sandals, and these are silver, and I've worn them quite a lot because I wear them to work because they're that comfortable. And they're silver, and you can kind of like see my toe prints in them because I've already worn them, but they are by Bandolino, and they have a really nice detail on them, so it's like some um, like little spiky things that aren't sharp, and then they have some little gems that are put onto them. So they're really comfortable, they're really nice shoes, and I wear a size 6, 6.5, 5, 4, depending on the make and designer of the shoe. So I really like those a lot, I'm very happy that I got them, and I'll be wearing those in school so that I don't have just my reefs because it's nice to have pretty shoes, and I'm not a, sh I'm not a shoe girl, I don't really care that much about shoes, but... Then I need a new sneakers like desperately because the ones that I had were not legitimately sneakers my roommate would always yell at me because she's like you need to get new sneakers because those do not qualify as sneakers and she ran track so she knew shoes like she knew stuff that I had to wear to the gym and she's like that's not it um so I went and I got these of course they're the most obnoxious color out there they are neon pink and I got them because they're uh size four kids and kid shoes are always cheaper so having small feet is kind of good for that and they're extremely comfortable they're really light like really really light and that's apparently really good because they're running shoes but I don't run all that much I do like the treadmill or the AMT or I do sometimes the elliptical don't really like the elliptical that much but these are really nice and they have white pink and black on them so I'm very happy that I got these shoes and 
if you guys plan on going to the gym, I highly recommend that you guys get a good pair of sneakers that you can wear because it's going to be very good and you're going to be very happy that you have them. So, continuing on, what I got at Marshall's, um, this wasn't supposed to happen. It actually happened the second time that I went. Uh, I went with my mom to Marshall's and we found something the first time that Amber and I went. And I was like, oh my god, it has owls on it. Chi Omega, that's awesome. And I go to Amber, I'm like, you should get that. And she was like, yeah, yeah, haha. Ha. And my mom saw it when I went with her and she's like, we're getting it. You're getting it. Owls, Chi Omega, done. And I was like, but I don't need a new comforter. She thought I didn't. So, this is the comforter that I got for school. And it has owls all over it. All over the place. And it comes with two pillows. One of them has um, owls on it and the other one's just a plain white one. Hey. Owl pillow. And this was $50, which is a pretty good price for having a comforter and a pillow, or two pillows. Um, because I know that I would go on to, why does it say four piece bedding? Oh, it comes with a comforter, one sham, and then two decorative pillows. So I know that when I went to, um, look for other bedding for, I went to Marshall's, it was very expensive. Like there was bedding that was $150 just for the comforter. And I was not about spending that much money. So if you look at PB Teen, um, they have really, really, really cute stuff, but they're quite expensive, so I go to Marshall's, and even Bad Bath & Beyond is kind of expensive for me. So, if you want to find really good deals, go to Marshall's and find stuff there. So, this is my new comforter, and it has owls on it. And also, in college, you will not have home-cooked meals. Like, mm, mm Unless you have a kitchen, which is real. If you are able to utilize the kitchen, or if there's, like, a supermarket near your school, definitely definitely utilize the kitchen because home cooked meals are the number one thing that I miss when I'm at school like I'm just like I need good food and also there are rumors that they put laxatives into your food just to make sure that in case the food isn't good or like it's past its date or something so that it gets out of your system so you don't get sick off of it um not sure how much I believe that I mean I know my school doesn't have any laxatives because I mean the, the food is good where I go so um on nights when I don't feel like going to walk to the calf because I am studying or I'm just like being really lazy and I don't feel like moving, which is typically on Sundays, I got Annie's homegrown mac and cheese. Things. So I got three different kinds and you can get whatever kind you want. I like the Annie's because the first time that I ever had anything pasta like this, like just add water and mix and heat. Um, was in school so I've never had this before I went to school and out of the ones that I had this was my favorite I wasn't a fan of Easy Mac even though one of my friends was like obsessed with Easy Mac and would have one like every night um I also had ramen for the first time at school which it wasn't bad but the amount of trans fat in that I was just like I can't do this every night um so I had that once pretty good for a college student first year having ramen only once but Annie's are really good and um they're better for you because they're like organic and whatnots. So, and then next, I got uh, two things that I can put on my wall. One of them is a wall quote, and then the other one is peel and stick letters. So the wall quote comes in one of these bin things, and I think that you can get these at Michaels too. Um, so this says "Always Kiss Me Goodnight," and I had to figure out where I'm going to put this on my wall, but I had one last year, and um, what was it? Wow, I read it every single night and I don't remember what it said. Um, it was like, smile is like brightest sunshine or something and oh my goodness, how do I not remember? I am having a major brain fault right now. So, yeah, those are really good and they're really nice because they add personality to your room, which if you have just like blank walls, it's nice to be able to do that. People do it with posters, people do it with whatever they want. So, then I got these peel and stick letters and I got these at Home Goods, um, and these go along with my theme. So these are blue and white and they have just lots of different letters and colors and not colors, like styles. So those are all the different styles in the back. And I don't know what I'm going to write out with them yet, but I don't know. I just really like them and they're sparkly, so I like sparkles. The last two things I got at Tag Sales, I got a pair of Calvin Klein flats and they had never been worn. So I was very happy, like literally never been worn. And they just have really cute 
jingles on the front. And I'm going to wear these to chapter uh, along with the uh, Marc Jacobs shoes that I got last year. So those have a little heel that I can also wear to any sort of business functions that I have to go to, whereas these are flats when I don't really feel like wearing heels. So very happy that I got those. Then this year, my desk is not as big as it was last year because I was under a bed. This year, um, there are three people in a room, so we have to like find space for all the desks. And one of them is a lofted bed, so she has her desk under her bed, but then um, my friend Amber and I, we have our desks next to each other. And they're quite small. I mean, I don't really do that much work on my desk, but all of my makeup goes on my desk and like all of my perfume and all brushes and it's essentially my vanity at school. So this is what I got to put on top of my desk. And you can get these at Ikea. You can get them at Bed Bath & Beyond. Um, I'm not sure if Marshall has them. I feel like they may. Uh, you can put them together. This one I liked because it's small but it still has a lot of room on it because it's technically like three shelves because I can use this one this one and the top for something so I'm gonna put like probably pencil sharpeners and um, like any post-it notes or any sort of work stuff on the bottom and then maybe I'll put like my brushes on top just so that I have a nice array of stuff on here so this is really gonna come in handy and it'll add a lot more space to my desk which is very nice for space utilization so that is it for my dorm haul and I may end up going shopping again. I'm not entirely sure if I will, definitely. But I will keep you guys posted if I do. And I'll probably end up vlogging it because I will be doing Vlogist on my vlog channel. So please go check that out. Go subscribe to my vlog channel down below. Subscribe to... Blah, blah, blah. Subscribe. I like how I can say that word. To this channel as well. Uh, go follow me on Instagram. Go follow me on Twitter. And go follow me on Pinterest too. Because Pinterest gives you a lot of great ideas for decorating your dorm. So that is it for this. Hope that you guys liked it. I will see you in the next video.